No, you've been a good friend And that's in the thick and thin And I know it's never gonna end Cause you've been a good friend Hi, welcome back to my channel According to Cat. If you're new here, please introduce yourself in the comments below. If you're returning, just say hi. I invite you to subscribe to my channel if you like decorating on a budget or completing DIYs on a budget using Dollar Tree products or upcycling items from the thrift store, as well as thrift store hauls or yard sale hauls. If you like things like that, I would subscribe and it's free. So if you hit that bell button, you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. What are we going to be making today? Okay, so today we're going to be making this coffee bar. I love it i love it i love it so the wooden plaque hanger for the mugs is the main diy and guess what i have seven yes seven bonus diys that you can add to your coffee bar some of them are using dollar tree products some of them are using thrift store products some of them are using yard sale products so yeah i absolutely love this and remember, you can modify any of these DIYs to fit the decor in your home. Um, but overall, I just love how it all blended together. And it's just really cool. So if you want to learn how to make this, stay tuned. If you want to know what supplies I've used, please check out the description box below. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. So the first thing we're going to do is the main DIY, which is the wooden coffee mug sign. All right, I, go in, I went to Habitat for Humanity and I got two pieces of lumber, $2 each. I just get whatever's there, um, but I'll put in the comments how large it is. This is Waverly Wax in Antique or Antique Wax. I get from Walmart. I put it on, let it sit for about a minute, and then I rub it off. I love the color of this. I just... I just think it's really rustic and nice and love it. All right, next thing I'm doing is I'm taking my stencils and I am writing coffee beans and I'm taking my Waverly chalk paint in white to paint that. This paintbrush was a little thick for me and I wanted a sharper point, so I cut it. And I am not being very careful because I don't want it to look perfect. I want it to look like someone just quickly stenciled it on. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is show you how I wanted to make hooks that didn't work. So watch this. Okay, so let's try something different. Because when life gives you lemons, trade it in for coffee. Okay, so I printed out some coffee labels from the internet. I just went on clip art and I found some vintage ones that I liked and I just kind of used my antique wax to darken them up. Now I'm cutting two out that are in competition. Red Rooster coffee and this other spice mills coffee i take my sanding um sponge and i am going to sand off the wording to make it look very weathered and distressed so i just make sure you wipe off all of the extra sanding grit Okay, so I'm taking my antique wax and I'm going over just to distress it some more. I'm taking my matte Mod Podge and I am going to apply the label, that one for me. But, you know, a girl has the right to change her mind, right? So I didn't like it. So now I'm going to use that little plaque. If you saw my le lemon vignette video with the small ladder, I used that wooden plaque to write lemonade. You can kind of see it on there. So I took my antique wax, painted that, covered it up, and I took my chalk paint and I kind of distressed it a little bit. This is a baby wipe. I take my pieces of you know, copy paper, and I put it inside the baby wipe. It makes it a little damp so that it will wrinkle less when you apply the Mod Podge. 
so I just leave it in there for like a minute and I kind of press it and it gives it just the right amount of wetness without being overly wet. All right, so I'm applying that so it's, I wanted a little color, but a girl has a right to change her mind, right? I thought when I would like rub off the edges, it would look really cool, but yeah, I didn't like that. So again, I pick a different label. And again, I pick a different label. Okay, so I take these shower hooks there. I had them for a while um, in my old apartment. So I paint them with the Waverly antique wax to make it look like wood. I love the way they look. I am measuring out how I'm going to glue them on with my fix all and my hot glue. You can see I made lines straight down so I know where to put them. I really did love this idea because they looked so pretty. Except something went a little wrong and I'll show you that. So I take that little wooden plaque that I painted, it's dry now, and I am using some hot glue to put it right in the center. There we go. It's looking good. Or is it? All right, so I am taking my Gorilla wood glue and I am putting the two pieces of wood together. Now, I do need some box clamps. I need to purchase some. So until then, I'm going to just use a couple of my heavier items to push it together. I kind of hold it for a while, um, but don't worry. I do add in some staples to help it out. Okay, so I am distressing that a little bit. Here are my staples, my heavy duty staples. And there we go. Perfect. That'll really hold it together. Look what happens. All of my hook, not only that hook, and it's not that it just came off, the actual hooks were breaking off. Okay, I changed my mind yet again. I felt that was a little dark and I am doing my little method to dampen it. And I promise this is the last label I put on. I promise you. Okay, so I am Mod Podging it on with the same Mod Podge. Scraper I got with my toolkit, which I'll show you in a minute. I'm taking off the glue. This is from Walmart. I get six coat hooks, hooks for about six, seven dollars and some change. I'm measuring the hooks six and a half inches apart. I'm putting that nail in to start my screw. It's easier to screw down. This is from my toolkit. I love this screwdriver. It's so easy to use. I got this a while back. I didn't want to ask my husband for his tools. I got it at Walmart. I think it was like $45. And it's such a great kit. There's so many awesome things. Check it out. All right. So I am screwing in the hooks, which I'm actually really happy about because I know they can withstand the weight of the mugs. All right. These are some saw um, tooth hangers. And I am just nailing those in. I got those as at Walmart as well. And this is hazelnut Waverly chalk paint, Walmart as well. <laughs> and in hazelnut, I take some truffle Waverly paint, put that on top. I'm just weathering this with some different color browns. And I got to tell you, all those changes, I don't know. It turned out beautiful. I love it. Okay, first bonus DIY, brew bar, wooden sign. All right, so I take some stickers and a wooden R to spell out brew. Ink in Waverly chalk paint. I am covering all of my letters. This I got at Joanne Fabrics. It was on clearance for like 90% off. And I just removed the little shamrock. I am painting the outside black in the ink. I'm cutting off the hanger because I just want it to stand right on the table. I thought I would like it with that weather hated it so I'm going back with the white Waverly chalk paint and then I'm distressing the outside I changed that as well okay so I am gluing on the word brew I don't want it to be even I would recommend writing the words that you're going to write on the sign first and then gluing on brew but I did it the other way and it, it worked out for me. All right, I don't like the white on there, so I go back with the black. I practiced writing bar and hour um, before I wrote it. I'm writing both words in a black Sharpie. 
and now I'm going to write bar in the black Sharpie. And I wanted it to have that thin lettering that's very popular right now, the Ray Dunn style lettering. I practiced writing it a few times and I'm kind of copying how I wrote it. And there we go. I like how that looks, but again, I can't be done with just that. So I weather it and I take some of that antique wax. I wanted to add a little brown so it kind of matched the other decor pieces. So I'm adding some on the letters and on the outside of the sign. And I like it. I brush a little bit right on top of the sign just to add a little something. Again, just sanded it a bit. And there we go. Love that as well. All right. Bonus DIY number two, cream and sugar, small plaque. I had this little leftover piece I cut off from something else. And I'm like, let's make something with it. Use what you got, girls. All right. So I take these stickers I got from the Dollar Zone. You can use any stickers you have. And I write, not write stick on cream and sugar and right there perfect I'm going to Mod Podge that this is a super quick and easy one Mod Podge that and I take antique wax wiped it on give it a little something extra bonus DIY number three coffee logo on Dollar Tree's cutting boards so again printed this right off of my internet and I distressed it a bit. I am adding the antique wax on both the logo and of cut the Dollar Tree cutting board. I wipe it off and add a little extra to add some striations on there. I cut out my label. I am using the technique to dampen it a bit with the baby wipes. And add some Mod Podge in matte. Lay that on top, flatten it out a bit, and add some more Mod Podge on top. I put some extra antique wax on top to darken it. Love it. Coffee menu frame, bonus DIY number four. All right, so I take a four by six frame from the Dollar Tree, take out the glass and everything else. I am painting it white with the chalk paint white Waverly. I am just took a piece of black construction paper. I use my paint pen, my Sharpie paint pen in white just to make some lines on it so that it fit in the frame nicely. I put on the back and the glass in the front and there you go. Love it. I take my sanding sponge from the Dollar Tree, sand it up, I take some antique wax and I add some brown to it. Love that as well. Bonus DIY number five, wooden box coffee label. All right, I am antique waxing it onto a label I printed out. I use my Elmer spray glue and I put it right onto the back of a bo wooden box frame. And I was going to put it on this Dollar Tree basket, didn't like it. So I ended up taking this wooden box I got from one of my yard sale hauls. Check out that video if you didn't already. Loved everything I got. Was so lucky. All right, so used some hot glue just to attach it. And I distressed it a little bit with my antique um, wax after I added my Mod Podge. You could do it either way. Antique it first, Mod Podge it first probably better to do the antique wax first but I did it backwards but loved the way it turned out so cute that I'm going to use for my pods art upcycle bonus DIY number six so I take another label I printed out and this I had for a while that piece of art I wanted to jazz it up a bit so I take a piece of cardboard and I am distressing it with some antique Waverly wax and I put on some Mod Podge and my label right on top. Okay. I'm carefully laying it on, flattening it out. Perfect. 
and I am going to distress it with some wax. Again, why do I keep doing it after? I don't know, but this is what I'm doing. I put on my Mod Podge, and I am going back with the antique wax. I put a Mod Podge on my art piece, and I just now use the matte Mod Podge again, and there we go. Lovely. Last quick and easy DIY number seven, succulent in a jar. I got this jar from Dollar Tree, and it has a little handle on it. It is so cute. I take some of the Dollar Tree rocks, put them inside. I take a Dollar Tree succulent, shove that in. So cute. And at Michael's, you can get these little wooden, they're like raw wood trays. Love them. They're 99 cents. I stained it with the antique wax. I put the jar right inside, and then I take some boxwood that I have from my garland, and I put it right in. I love the way that looks. So easy, so simple, so fresh. Love it. Okay, final reveal. The main DIY and seven bonus DIYs. And when you put them all together, this is what you get. Here is my coffee bean mug holder. I love how distressed it looks. I made a lot of changes, but in the end, I love everything about it. Here is my coffee menu. Here is our brew bar sign. Here is my cream and sugar quick DIY sign. Again, here's my coffee pot holder. I love how this turned out. My Dollar Tree two DIYs, the succulents in a jar, and my little plaque using the cutting board from the Dollar Tree. My upcycle from what I already had at home. This whole vignette was very budget friendly. I love how my final little label worked out on my mug holder. I just love how everything turned out. I just am very pleased with, with it all. So if you know anyone that would want to make this, please share this video with them. If you liked what you saw, please hit that like button. I'm exhausted. That was a lot of work going through everything at a, such a quick pace. I wanted to keep it under 20 minutes. And, and remember, if you like what you see here and want more budget-friendly DIYs, please consider subscribing to my channel. I upload at least twice a week. And yeah, so that's it. I will see you in my next video. Thanks, everyone. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye.